Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tony here from The Word Alive. So me and Joe um, took a lot of time to finalize this guitar, so I wanted to give you a quick rundown of all the specs on it. So we decided on the body that we were gonna do a mahogany body, and we did a maple neck on the back, and ebony fingerboard with the cream inlays. If you look on the 12th fret, we did the human logo for the Word Alive, which I think turned out really cool. Um, it's 24 frets, so stainless steel frets, and it is baritone, so we have a 26 and a half inch scale on that. Gold hardware, um, we got a three-way switch, toggle switch on here with the coil tap, which is very cool. We have the Truno buckers, which turned out really awesome. I had the ferrules and my other, my previous guitars, and this one just kind of has a little more high range high mid and punch and tightness to it. We have the hip shot bridge and the uh, Balagher gold locking tuners. So this guitar, you know, took a lot of time and effort to really um, get it how I want it to play, especially for a live setting. Chose the mahogany body, I like the deeper tones of that and a little weight to it. It's not too heavy, but it's just heavy enough so it doesn't feel like you're playing a toy guitar. My previous guitars, I've always had bare tone with Balagher. Um, which I loved. It was a little long for me though, so it felt like I was kind of playing a bass, so we decided to do a half inch shorter um, on, the, on the neck. So it's still baritone, but it's only 26 and a half, which I really like it, especially that we changed the neck to a D shape, which is very nice for, you know, the accessibility of you know playing this guitar and whatnot. I do love the, the actual finish of the guitar and all the gold hardware to complement the color. Aesthetically I think this guitar is pretty cool and speaks for itself. I'm gonna do a little run through um, of the pickups and you know different positions and whatnot and you can hear like how this thing sounds. So this is gonna be on the bridge position on the guitar um, on my main channel that I use for almost every song we play live. So I'll give you a little demo of how this thing sounds. <coughs> This will be in the middle position on the pickup on the main channel. This will be in the neck position on the guitar. So I'm going to have it on a crunch channel right now so you can get a little idea of the versatility of it. I'm just going to go through the, 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 the positions of the pickup so you can hear it. Start on the bridge. Middle position. Neck position. play on a clean channel now, go through the pickups and also the coil tap on it so you can just kind of hear the difference. Yeah. We'll do the coil tap now on the bridge position. Coil tap in the middle position. The coil tap down. Neck position. Do the coil tap. Cool guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informational. And uh, just shout out to Balger Guitars, Joe Balger. This guitar will be out this summer, so keep a lookout.